Imagine you're working in West Africa during the height of the Ebola epidemic. Your job is to spray down workers with bleach to kill any trace of the virus before they remove their protective suits. For many doctors and nurses, you are their last line of defense. However, you can't actually see how well you're spraying because bleach is transparent. Worse, the bleach bounces right off of the waterproof suits without actually killing the virus. It's a fatal exercise in futility and a major reason why health workers were so vulnerable during the outbreak. When I first learned about this problem, simple improvements seemed obvious. What if health workers could actually see what they're spraying? What if we colorize it? What if we added a powder into the bleach that turns it blue so you can see exactly where you've sprayed? Even better, what if it also thickens the bleach so that it sticks onto waterproof surfaces and only fades away once decontamination is complete? These are the kinds of ideas that show us how much power there is in simple solutions and basic insights. What if we decided to act on more of these insights and provide more of those solutions? We could get a safer environment for caregivers and patients. From West African clinics to U.S. hospitals, bringing visible color to the process of decontamination is just the beginning. There's a wealth of ideas out there that will make a big difference in protecting health workers from infection. And to begin with, in the future, we want blue to be the reassuring marker of safety. Thank you.